Did you know that cutting down more trees can reduce the risk of climate change? That sounds weird, but it's true. Here's how. Decreased carbon in the atmosphere means less risk of climate change. And we know how to remove carbon from the atmosphere, or at least nature does, by growing trees. Growing trees sequesters carbon. It removes it from the air and stores it in the wood. As trees mature, the rate that carbon is removed from the atmosphere slows down. And as the trees die and decompose, they release the carbon back to the atmosphere. So just growing the trees stores carbon but once. That is not a sustainable reduction unless we use those trees before they mature and plant new trees to replace those that are used. When the trees are cut, they stop removing carbon from the air, but they continue to store what was already removed. These trees end up as wood products, like desks and cabinets, wood-framed homes and buildings, even toys. Creating wood products both removes existing carbon from the air through tree growth and emits less carbon in production. For example, if two tons of wood-engineered eye joists are used in residential construction instead of steel eye joists, carbon emissions are reduced by four tons. In addition, the wood retains one ton of carbon, so five tons of carbon are displaced by using wood instead of steel. That's about the equivalent of removing the emissions of five fuel-efficient vehicles from the road every day for a year. Wood is also considered a renewable energy. Burning wood for energy instead of producing wood products emits about the same amount of carbon as burning coal. But using wood building products to replace fossil intensive products like steel and concrete can be as much as 10 times more effective in reducing carbon emissions than burning the wood for just its energy value. Leftovers, like mills and forest residues, demolition waste, those have little alternative use so they can be used to produce heat and energy. Given sufficient demand for wood products, markets can and do motivate increased forest investment. This means more forests sequestering more carbon on a sustainable basis. When government regulations favor fossil intensive production or even renewable energy, they don't consider the carbon displacement wood products can provide. So what does science tell us about how we can take more carbon from the atmosphere? Cut more trees. We must cut trees, but we must replant them, and then use wood products instead of concrete, steel, brick, and plastic. It is ironic, but cutting down trees is one way to save the environment and the planet.